Dalston is the southern station on the lovely South Tyndale Railway and I'm here in the heart of the North Pennines in the northern part of England. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Lindley's video. More about the history of the scenic line soon, but let's just watch the loco run around to prepare for the first service out on the line this morning. The fully covered station here is ideal as, let's face it, the weather here can be mixed and the roof would be very welcome during rainy days. With no fuss, nice and early ahead of the departure, the train is fully formed. I have time to buy a coffee and a piece of cake from the cafe right here on the platform. The cafe team had a bit of a laugh while I was filming, but I won't say here what they were laughing at. The train is made up of a mix of open-sided and fully enclosed carriages. I've opted for the open so that I can get a good view of the loco and the countryside as we travel north. This heritage railway began its operations in the early 1980s and runs on the old track bed of the former Alston Line, which was a standard gauge line branching off the Newcastle to Carlisle route at Holt Whistle. The original line was built during the mid-1850s as a single track route along the valley with the South Tyne River when at the time the roads in this area were very poor and difficult to pass in the winter time. After closure in the 1960s, the southern section was then reopened using a narrow gauge stock to form this heritage railway line. There are plans to extend from Slaggyford back up to Holt Whistle, making use of the impressive viaduct over the river there. Kit and I explored this and the station while we were in the area walking along Hadrian's Wall in the summer of 2021.
the railway has a range of steam and diesel locos, but we have Barber today. This energetic little loco is an 060 saddle tank built in 1908 by Thomas Green and Sons of Leeds. She worked her main commercial life at the Harrogate Gas Works with Francis Barber as the chairman, hence the loco's name. At that time, the cab height was about 250 millimetres lower due to the restricted height of a tunnel. During a recent rebuild, an extension section has been carefully added to raise the cab roof so that working the loco is now more comfortable. The driver explained to me that this emergency hatch is still in place, originally needed if the loco failed inside the gasworks tunnel, as there was no room to use the sides of the cab. To run with the loco is this extra tender truck. This has multiple functions, not only to carry additional coal, but more importantly hides away a compressor for the brake system. The truck has only been recently made and is awaiting its final coat of paint. All the carriages on the line use a Buckeye system of coupling, quick and easy, and saves a load of time and bother.
And now, even, I've got the chance to pop up to see inside the signal box. The lever frame is fairly typical of similar signal boxes, but the large wheel is for operating the level crossing gates and is rather special. I had the chance to change some points, needing the release first and then the reuse of the facing point lock lever. Points back. Yep. I'm not back on, not back on. Unless the point is in movement, I'm not going to always be on. Yes. I really enjoyed my day out on the railway today. The railway team have been super helpful and there's lots to look at and enjoy and the scenes along the river valley are beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed following along with me. From here at the lovely South Tyndale Railway, thanks for watching and bye for now.